we're filling Al's flower pouch. And this is a an interesting case. We're here at AMA and filling Al's flower pouch today for one of our co uh, customers in Leamington. And it's an interesting case because we're doing something that not all growers are doing at the moment. Um, for this order, we're filling a regular uh, 10 hole Al's flower pouch. It's the printed version with the instructions on the back. And uh, you can see here that Henry is uh, using Al's hopper to do the filling. And it makes life a lot easier for growers who have Al's hopper. It makes sense if you're doing about a thousand pouches or more in a year uh, to have one of these machines. They just pay for themselves easily. What's especially interesting in this case is that we're using Fafard's Agro Mix Supreme today in uh, compressed bales, 3.8 cubic feet or 107 liters. And it's a really high quality mix. It has perlite in it. And uh, what's different this time is that we're adding stonewall crumbs to it. And you can see the stonewall crumbs here. These are uh, waste material actually from our hydroponic plug manufacturing operation down at AMA Hydroponics. And you can see it just comes in small strips and chunks. This will be mixed in uh, as we run this bale buster and uh, at a rate of about uh, three or four cubic feet. It's a large garbage bag down there that you see. <clears throat> One per three bales of mix. And that's just enough stone wool to do an excellent job holding moisture in the flower pouch. And you can see Henry putting them another two on the skid. This helps the uh, end consumer and the grower while he's growing it out with uh, the moisture control over the entire season so that the pouch has uh, less tendency to dry out. I know a lot of growers have talked about using tubes down the back of the pouch and that sort of thing. We've always uh, said that it's easy to maintain them if you water them at least once every day and you do a good watering uh, so that it runs to the bottom of the pouch. You have to make sure the water gets to the very bottom. If you, it's really hot weather in July or August, you probably need to water twice, uh, twice a day. Here you can see the mix coming out of the bale buster into Al's hopper. And you can see those stone wool cubes in there. There it is there. There's a little bit of stone wool and it's just enough. It's not too much. It will further mix in as it goes through the hopper. And uh, by the time you get to the pouch, you've got a good mix of uh, peat moss with a little bit of stone wool in there, just enough to do the job of holding that moisture. AMA can do your pouch filling for you, and uh, we're, we're reasonably priced at it. We have a machine, and we're obviously set up to do this efficiently. Um, we can ship it. Uh, anywhere for that matter, but typically we ship within a day's drive of uh, Kingsville, Ontario. And we'd be happy to give you a price on it. Be sure to look for Al's uh, flower pouch.